Hey guys, how you going? We thought we'd bring you this episode with some dessert we're cooking as well. So, so we're attempting to camp cook, campfire cook. Yes. A bit more. So we bought some. We bought a jaffle iron. So we're going to cook an apple pie over the fire. This is a fork to fire recipe. Fire to fork. Why do I keep stopping? Fork that to off? fire. <laughs> Check you out. I even tried to slow it down. Poor dude. I don't know. I swear I'm dyslexic. I'm just not diagnosed. Anyway. This is a fire to fork recipe. We just discovered those guys on Instagram and that they dude. that dude on Instagram and his stuff is sick. So hopefully we don't disappoint. Yes. And here's our layout. Good. So first things first, let's get a fire on. Get a fire there. Oop. Get a fire there. Here we go. Let that do its thing. Back in the kitchen with Shani. <laughs> Still dicing these apples. It's ready to go on the fire. Beautiful. I've just got our little fireplace hot plate grill set up over our little fire. Chuck her on, babe. There we go, beautiful. This looks good. We've had this how many years now? We haven't oh, had, had it for, mania. Yeah, we've had it for ages. Yeah, it's been a, a few years. Four years. Go strong. She goes good. <laughs> I just remembered. We also wanted to share with you guys that we've reached 1,000 subscribers on YouTube. Yay! Yo! 1,000 subscribers we got there. Yeah, it's our um, it's like a first. Well, we've had a couple of milestones. We've broken up into little goals, but that's pretty awesome. So thank you guys so much. Thanks to everyone who watches our video, who comments, who subscribes, who yeah, just enjoys our video for entertainment. We appreciate it, and we're glad we can take you along with this on this journey with us. Yeah, thanks heaps, guys. We appreciate it a lot. Thousand subscribers, first milestone ticked off the list for us. Yeah, I mean YouTube, it's obviously just a bit of fun. It's going to be good to watch these videos, look back on them when the kids are older and that kind of thing. But yeah, it's also cool to see our channel grow. Oh, there you go. Cool. So it's been another week, like we just said. Um, not a lot has happened. You know, we're still chilling. Can't go many places. Uh, we're kind of putting a bit of a list together of stuff we want to do to the car as well now. Um, which I suppose will start actioning in the next couple of weeks, which will be cool to get some footage of as well. Um, but the restrictions in Queensland are loosening at the moment, so we'll see how we go. That's right, restrictions are loosening, so we can kind of get out and do a little bit more. But yeah, the week's been pretty good. I went did some fishing, caught some sick fish. Uh, didn't get any footage of it though, but you guys will see why when I roll on some clips, I guess. So I'll probably do that now. So yeah, guys, check out our week. It's lunchtime. I've whipped up some of these fish burgers with the mackerel I caught in the last episode. Gonna put them on some bread with whatever I had in the fridge. We had some tomato, some cucumber, this avocado. Might chuck some, squeeze a bit of lemon on there. I've got the oil heating up over at our cooking spot. So let's get into it. Bit of cucumber. You know they got vitamins and minerals in very high numbers. So I'll do a bit of a bit of a tester to see if she's hot. Look at that. Maybe, maybe grab a bit, bit more. Oh, it's close. It's close. I reckon give it another couple of minutes to get real hot. So I just made these guys up. I chucked some potato in there with um, egg, shallots, some chives, a bit of mozzarella cheese, a bit of just normal tasty shredded cheese, and just crumbed them up with the mackerel, of course. So they should be sick. Alrighty, I think it's time because I can't wait anymore. I'm starving. Look at that. Alrighty, our fish cakes are done. All right, first time trying fish cakes. They're a bit hot, but man, that is really, really good. You're gonna love those, babe. Yeah. Got Shani down here on the edit. Down here. And squeeze a lemon. All right. Honestly, like that's a lot better than what I was expecting too, to be honest. Oh. He bloody dropped it. Anyway, we're out of here again, guys. Uh, trying to catch our food. Oop, 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 oop. Nah. Oh. Nah. <laughs> They're hitting it hard, man, but they're not hooking up. Pretty golden and majestical though, the sun's just sure. hitting you on the back. Good angle, eh? Good angle.
are going absolutely wild. Oh, really? Yeah, there's so many. So those bus stops you're seeing were tuna. We chased them around for about an hour, throwing lures and whatnot, but no luck. We couldn't actually get close enough. Every time we got next to them, they just disappeared. So we just kept steaming and doing our thing. Check out the starfish. Stayed out in the boat last night, as you can probably tell. Had a wee bit of a rough sleep because we were parked over in another bay on the other side of this little island over here. Well, it's not really little, it's quite big. And the wind was forecast to change direction. Um, it was supposed to smooth off over there, which never happened, so I drove us over here at like 2 o'clock in the morning. We've got our rod in the water, a lot of people out fishing this morning. First things first, Ugh. get a coffee going. You can't start your day without a coffee, well I can't anyway. Look at I got! Shani got a, got a sweet, sweet lip. lip. Nice work babe, that's, that's um, dinner. dinner. Happy days in Good the esky she goes. And check out oh, our new purchases today. We finally got a Jaffa Lion. Never really wanted one before, but I'm feeling a little bit inspired and want to do a little bit more camp oven style cooking. Thanks to one of our subscribers who commented on our last video if we've done much before. We've done lots of cooking on the fire before. Um, like we do cook a lot of steaks over the grill, that kind of stuff. Um, but we've never actually used jaffel iron or a camp oven, so we're going to give that a whirl. So we also got, open this one up, we got Pioneer, the double jaffel iron there. I'm pretty sure it's all the same stuff. And then we got our little camp oven, it's like a 4.5 quart, and then the little steamer tray. So we thought it'd be a perfect opportunity because I still got that sweet lip, sweet lip in the fridge that I need to fill it that I caught the other day so we're going to use our jaffel iron and make some fish toasties. Tony is just getting our fire ready. Oh, oh. Too good mate. Did you look at that? That doesn't happen often. Yeah. I'm going to try and fill it today. I've never filled a fish before so with Antonio's guidance. Yeah. Probably a YouTube video. Nah I can show you. I'm gonna give it a go. So I got this one two days ago. So as you can tell, this isn't a skill that I am naturally good at. It was a little bit messy, but I assure you we didn't waste any bit of the fish and I'm sure I'll get better at it. So because I missed so much meat when I was trying to fillet the fish, I've now got a spoon and I'm just trying to scoop up any bit of meat off the bone so we don't let it go to waste. <sighs> I'm going <laughs> to try and skin the fish. So I just did my first fillet. It looks pretty good. I'm actually so surprised I found this part quite easy. I'm just gonna show you this side because it looks so much better than the other side. Cool, so we've just salt and peppered the fish up. It's all chopped up into bite-sized fish bites. All right, so jaffa lion's all preheated. Our fish is cooked. She's all buttered up. Chuck a fair bit of butter in the jaffa line to start with. Fish on. Add some cheese. Yeah, good. They're good? I like it, yeah. I like this fish. Give me that little fish pocket so I reckon when these guys are done. Nice. Put that in. Clip it in. Okay. Clippy clip clip. Learning as we go. Yep. And now, very sad looking coals. So the fire pit wasn't really full of hot coals, 
they all kind of just fell through the little gap at the bottom there it's a bit of a pain in the ass but oh well so i just pull the collars out with some tongs and sat them on top of the jaffa line they sh should be real hot so that heat should transfer through the cast iron and with any luck they'll toast up real good might just take a little while so with a bit of perseverance i've managed to get my toasty out she's a little bit too toasty underneath but it still tastes really good i guess it's our first go with it so we'll We'll try something different next time. Might try oil instead of butter. Maybe oil first, then butter. I don't know. We'll see how we go. Last piece of my fish toasty. Down the hatch. I reckon we couldn't have stuffed that up anymore if you tried. <laughs> it was pretty shocking. But it tasted good, which is what counts. Shani's still holding into hers over there. Leo's bringing out toys to play with us out here. The sun's come out. It's a bit humid. The sun's come out, so it's really heating up. It just rained this morning. Mind me talking to you with a mouthful of food, by the way. So here we have the new and improved barbecue pit. I drilled a whole heap of holes in the side to allow a little bit more air to get to the base of the fire, which has made lighting it and I suppose keeping it lit um, a lot easier, a lot better. So it's our first time trying it out and it's a thumbs up. It's a good fire pit and it's even better. If you've got a 12 mil drill bit and a bit of time on your hands. So it's dinner time, I'm just sitting outside, got our fire on, and we have a lump of tuna. So that's right, I actually went out and caught tuna for the first time ever. I didn't actually get any footage of me catching it, but I do have a couple of photos, so I'll chuck them in. But um, yeah, there's one of the pieces we have quite a lot they're quite big tuna that we got and I just didn't record I just forgot the GoPros um, I was already at the boat ramp by the time I was heading out so I wasn't turning around to get the cameras and I also want to talk a little bit about how I kill these fish so the way I've always killed fish is I've brought them in as soon as they're in the boat I brand them so if they were legal size they were good to go I brand them straight away and then I'd bleed the fish after that and then after I have bled basically held the fish until the bloods come out I put them in an icy slurry and I didn't actually realize that method of killing fish is called Ikajime and it's like the most humane and best way to kill fish because of the stress hormones and stuff the fish releases so apparently if you just let them suffocate which is like the traditional method of killing fish we'll just pull them out and chuck them in an esky or ice or whatever and they suffocate um, to death if you brain them they don't release that adrenaline and cortisol through their um, blood which is I suppose makes the meat go rotten quicker there's a big Actually, I might just link it. I'll put a link in the description about Ikijime, um, the Ikijime method. It's a Japanese method of killing fish, and it's supposed to be the best. I didn't even realize I was doing it until I did a bit of research, and yeah, it turns out that's kind of the best way to do it. Preserves the meat, makes it taste better. Um, but yeah, let's get stuck into cooking this. I've never actually cooked fresh tuna because I've never caught one before, so I'm really excited to see how this goes. Alrighty, so let's cut some up. Not making too much tonight we're not overly hungry the kids have already eaten so it's just for me and shani so a light dinner we kind of ate lunch pretty late today we had those um those fish toasties in the new jaffa line that went terribly but tasted great a bit of salt on these a bit of pepper and we'll chuck them straight in some hot oil. All right, so here we have the tuna all done, cooked it up. They're really hot, they just come off the pan. Looks like I've cooked them Pretty much well done there's a tiny bit of pink left you probably can't see in the gopro but they were quite thin so i sliced them up probably a little bit too thin so i suppose tuna you cook it kind of like you can cook steak you can cook them like medium rare rare you can have it as sashimi my mum actually had it as sashimi and she loved it it was really really good but i've got a lemon as well the lemon 
juice on them. All right, let's do a taste test now. That is unbelievably good. People who say you can't eat mac tuna don't know what they're talking about. That. Wow. Honestly, I'm surpri I'm so surprised that that is unreal, and I'm so so happy and so grateful to be able to go out there and catch these these fish. They're amazing. Like the fight they put on, the fun it is to catch them, the food, the amount of meat that I got from that fish. Like it was a big fish. Wow. <laughs> Thank you. Have a kiss. Oh, oh, ma. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Go, <Cool>, Leo. <laughs> Downward dog. Love it. Good form. Good form, mate. Can you see? <laughs> Hello. Hello. So we've got our clean load of washing here we need to organise and put away. Since it's getting much cooler now, we need to do the transition of our summer clothes put away and our winter clothes come out. So we're going to organise that today. We've got a couple of containers to organise underneath the bed. It was just kind of the cheapest way to do that. I've already spent like an hour spring cleaning everything, all the blinds and the fans and just everything. Cleaned out the fridge. So much cleaner now, it's taken about an hour. So we'll get into that. See what the Arvo brings. So lift the bed up. Oh yeah, definitely needs some attention. Since we've been still for a month, we've just been like chucking, grabbing everything we need out and chucking stuff in. So we definitely need to give this some love. Sort of nearly getting there. Stacking stuff up in the buckets, working it out so it fits in. What's that um, game called where you have to try and like... Tetris? Tetris, yeah. We're trying to save... A bit of space, whoop, a bit of storage space so that we can put Don't like, <laughs> my camera's like over here and I'm like talking. I'm trying to make a little space so that we can fit the annex and awning, no, just the annex stuff underneath here. What else are we trying to fit underneath now? I think the annex stuff is going to have to go on a separate little test chest toolbox in the back. Oh, yeah, bath. We might do. have to try and get a new chest toolbox mounted at the back of the caravan. Yeah, we did try and do that originally like a few months ago. It was a big diamond tea toolbox, a great big one I had in the back of the ute. It wasn't compliant with um, the law, so I had to get rid of it. Yeah, so we've decided we're probably going to need to get that. To... So everything kind of fits in its spot nicely, because um, obviously when we get moving, we're going to be doing a lot of one night or two nighters at places when we're moving a bit, and we don't want the caravan piled up with our stuff. Makes it a bit harder, I guess so. Yeah, so this will look so much better soon. Also check out this tip, just bought some Velcro push strips from Kmart. They're like $6 for a pack of six or eight, I think. So you stick one onto the wall and one onto your remote and you just push it in and voila, looks so much neater. Hey babe, Yo. show us your belt. You wanna, you wanna <laughs> I just discovered this this morning. You don't have a belt guys, <laughs> a grunt strap works really well. This yeah. is the one meter length, this will fit most men. <laughs> you larger men might need to get the 1.5. You can buy them for five bucks for two at Bunnings. Five bucks a pack of two at Bunnings. <laughs> your belt needs are sorted. We really should get your belt, hey? No, why, why? Why do we need a belt? This works fine. It does look pretty cool. And check it out. Finally finished. So I reckon it's taken us about two hours to do a full spring clean. So that's like cleaning everything bleaching stuff, cleaning the air conditioner, which is up there, which we do every like week or so anyway. Um, and yeah, organize our clothes and put them nice and neat. So it's just more accessible now. Love it. But yeah, if you have any questions regarding, you know, what we've packed for our travels, just leave them in the comments below or also check out our other YouTube video, our caravan tour, and we go into a little bit more detail on things that we've packed. An epic coconut yogurt bowl going down here.
Yum. And check out the winter woolies. It's 11 o'clock and I'm still cold. <laughs> Yum. Oh. Yum. Yeah, that was it. So good. I'm going to have to get Leo out to try the papaya. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ooh, too much. Leo, are you, are you gonna eat that? Oh, Leo, there's grass all over it. Mm. So, so you're just gonna chuck it on the grass again, leave it there for someone to step on. Hey, Leo, how do you feel about not being able to go anywhere? Hey, mate. I don't think he cares. He's got his ice block. <laughs> Excuse me, mate. Someone's talking to you. I think it's time to preheat the Jaffa Lion. Go grab that. Come with this cute little baggie. Well, they didn't come with it. I had to pay for it extra for it, but there it is. Got our veggies back on the fire, gonna heat those up, get them ready for dinner. We'll tuck in a dinner while I'm waiting for dessert to get ready. I'll probably make another set of dessert because there's enough apple and we've got enough pastry, so why not? The kids are joining us for dinner. There's thing one and thing two. So, guess what? It didn't stick. It actually, it didn't stick. I had it like that and I gave it a good tap with the old axe. Happy days, mate. Look at that. Oh. <gasps> yeah, hold it, Leo. Hold it, Leo. Hold it. Mate, he would drop it. Mom, stop. Yeah. Stop. Yeah. Leo's like, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Leo, there's a pole there, mate. It's alright, you don't have to hold it. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's like really <laughs> wants to. Come here. Oh, oh. Leo, it's okay, mate. Look, hold it. Yay! Yay! There you go. Go, Leo. Buckle, Leo. Nice, nice man. Nice. So we get yep, you going. Really my hands are. <laughs> He's so not impressed. Woo. Woo. The moment of truth. The kids aren't getting any ice creams yet because they haven't finished their, their dinner. Their dinner, no. but I'm going to try it. How much ice cream you reckon? Like that much? I don't know, that's a pretty good serving. Pretty good, pretty good dash of ice cream. Alright, I am so excited to try this. Ooh. Hey, we don't um put the recipe to shame because it is good. <laughs> Come on, there we go. <laughs> it's good. No, so good, man. Mom. Mm. Oh, what is it? Mm. You gonna try some? Apple, you gonna try some apple pie? Tyler. Apple pie. Brax, you gonna try some apple pie? Come here, Leo. Give that a go. <laughs> well, Righty, guys. So that's it for another episode from us. Another week done and dusted. If you like this episode, give it a like. If you want to see more, subscribe. <laughs> and if you have anything to say, have any questions, leave a comment below. Yeah, and like Antonio said, we're kind of getting a little bit of a list together of where we want to travel to around Australia. So if you have any have any hot spots, also leave us a comment below. Oh yes, please do, guys. Cheers. But thanks again for the thousand K subscribers. Thousand K. <laughs> well, thousand subbies, guys. You guys are legends. Have Yo, a good night. Bye. Hello. 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 Say ciao.
Ich bin